A loud scandal has rocked the State Duma of the Russian Federation, which is completely controlled by the Kremlin. Communist Party Deputy Renat Sulemanov spoke directly at the session about the armed forces of the Russian Federation turning into an army of criminals. Sulemanov was outraged that in Russia, in essence, a legal way of evading criminal liability has appeared, which criminals very actively use. The principle of the inevitability of punishment, which is fundamental in any legal state, has been destroyed. We are now turning our army into some kind of batko makno gang of criminals and outlaws. We are recruiting some marginal elements and trying to construct our armed forces from this, the Russian deputy openly declared. It should be noted that the Russian Federation began actively recruiting prisoners into its army back in the fall of 2022 when the failure of the Blitzkrieg in Ukraine became obvious and a lot of cannon fodder was needed to hold a broad front. The first to tour Russian prisons to recruit mercenaries was the leader of the Wagner PMC, Yevgeny Prigozhin. Over time, the Russian Ministry of Defense also took this up. The mass recruitment of prisoners not only increased the decomposition of the Russian army, but also had the most negative impact on security in the Russian Federation itself. Dangerous criminals were released early, which sharply exacerbated the crime situation in the country. Recently, a Russian prisoner has recorded a video message to Russians and told about his experience of participating in the war with Ukraine. He warns others against going to the front, saying that it is a one-way ticket. He signed a contract for one year, but it was a scam. The Russian army command leaves everyone at the front until the end of the war, sending former prisoners to a penal battalion. The mercenary admitted that he was trained to operate drones, but was sent to an infantry assault in Volchansk. He had no chance to use his knowledge since there were no drones. When we were in the basement, we thought it would be better if we served another 10 years just to get away from the complete hell. He admits, don't go to the SVO. It's death without any meaning. In 20 years, no one will remember you, just as the victims of the war in Afghanistan have long been forgotten. No one can say why and for what people died in that war. The same will happen with this one. The channel's authors comment on the confession of the Russian soldier. Russian forces struck residential buildings in the Ukrainian town of Mykolaivka, in the Donetsk region overnight on Sunday causing major damage. A 52-year-old woman was injured in the strikes, which hit three multi-story residential buildings in a hospital, according to city authorities. Libov Marchenko, who was in one of the residential buildings, said she couldn't talk after seeing her apartment hit. I was sleeping at night, there was scream, I got up, the windows flew out, something flew past me, I thought it was a shell, I was shaken, the house was full of smoke, it all settled down, then I got up, I couldn't talk, I was in shock," she told the Associated Press. The strikes come as Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky visits the U.S. He will speak at the UN General Assembly annual gathering in New York on Tuesday and Wednesday and then travel to Washington for talks on Thursday with U.S. President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, as he seeks to shore up support for Ukraine.
ночью спала, раздался грохот, я встала, Викна Викна вылетела, что-то пролетело мимо меня, я думала, что это снаряд, меня струсило, дыму полна хата, все это улеглось, тогда я встала, балакать не могу. И по цивильной У меня структуре. Пока я не напилася у тих успокоительных цих, не полежала, не одійшла, я балакать не мала.